You've reached the activism portion of today's show. Now that you're informed and angry, here's what you can do about it. Today's activism, reject Trump's morally bankrupt budget. When you take from the poor and give to the rich, most people aren't going to like you, even in America. But that's exactly what Trump and his administration are proposing in their 2019 budget for the federal government. Everyone knew the only way Republicans were going to even be able to try to pay for the massive tax cuts they gave to corporations, millionaires, and billionaires in the tax bill passed at the end of last year was to decimate funding for the parts of the government that they don't like. This was their long game. They could hardly wait for the tax bill to pass before using the talking point that we just can't afford entitlements, while simultaneously increasing the bloated defense budget and shoveling cash toward people who fund their campaigns. They got what they wanted, fulfillment of their heartless ideology, and a big return on investment for their donors. They were downright giddy. And then there's Trump. For someone so concerned with being liked, he has zero idea how to do it. His budget does the opposite of every single campaign promise that got him elected. He said he wouldn't cut Medicare, but the 2019 budget calls for his historic cuts to the popular program. He said he would come to the rescue of veterans, but calls for $72 billion in cuts from Social Security Disability Insurance, which over 1 million veterans receive. He said he was a champion for rural Americans, but he is calling for the elimination of programs that exist entirely to strengthen economic development, workforce training, and education and infrastructure in rural communities. And then there's the gaslighting named Harvest Box, Trump's attempt to slash and replace the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, better known as SNAP or Food Stamps. This theoretical box would contain zero fresh food and takes away the ability for a person to make their own decisions about the food they eat. It will go down as yet another Trump brand failure, but this time the bad idea would directly hurt millions of low-income people and their children. The immorality and injustice of this budget proposal is glaring on every page. In many ways, it acts as a textbook for understanding just how cruel and unusual Trump and Republicans really are. The Center for American Progress has put together a number of fact sheets on this budget, outlining how it specifically harms various segments of the population, including the elderly, the LGBT community, communities of color, rural Americans, veterans, women, people with disabilities, and children. In other words, almost literally everyone. The Center for Budget and Policy Priorities has also provided extensive research on the harmful impacts of Trump's budget. We've linked to these documents in the show notes, and we encourage you to check them out and share them widely. The budget may just be a proposal right now, much of which won't make it into real legislation, but it says so much about where Trump and Republicans want to take this country. We need to reject this budget soundly and loudly by frequently calling members of Congress and following and getting involved with organizations like the Coalition on Human Needs at chn.org and Social Security Works at socialsecurityworks.org. It's also important to note that Trump's budget assumes an unrealistic economic growth rate of 3%. The current projection is 1.9. So the reality is that even with all those draconian budget cuts, the Trump and Republican tax plan will likely still leave us in deeper national debt. Not that they actually cared as they pretended. The segment notes include all of the links to this information as well as additional resources, and as always, this and every activism segment we produce is archived and organized under the Activism tab at bestoftheleft.com. So if making sure this country moves in a moral and compassionate direction is important to you, be sure to hit the share buttons to spread the word about rejecting Trump's morally bankrupt budget via social media so that others in your network can spread the word too.